Hello everybody, this is String and we're back to conclude the last 16 round. And yes, we got two matches to look forward to here. Starting off with Ratchet going up against Dino Smash. And then Ultimate Dino Queen, Ultimate Dino King taking on Shin Dominus. What do I expect from these matches? Well, um, I feel like Ratchet against Dino Smash is a very intriguing matchup. You know, I feel like it, we could be in for an even match. And I, I can't really call it, to be honest. Like, maybe Ratchet has the upper hand with a death fire if he gets it off. You know, Dino Smash has done pretty well. Yeah, it's a tough one to call. Tough one to call that match. And then we have Ultima Dino King against Shin Dominus. Shin Dominus on a really good run of form right now. So, wouldn't want to underestimate them. And they were one of the newcomers that I pointed out as my fancy for doing well in this tournament and they've been proven right for once. Well, hey! The Ultimate Dino King is our current champ, tournament favourite. I I expect him to win. I think I've just given Ultimate the kiss of death there. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, look. let's just look at the quarterfinal rounds. Uh, before we start, we got literally all... Well, Emmy was in my last tournament, so they're not a newcomer, but... Three of them are newcomers. I can't remember if Zeno was in my last tournament. I don't think he was. I mean, I know these two weren't. But yeah, three newcomers into the quarterfinal. Doing really well. But yeah, let's, let's not should be jabber about that. Well, we got three newcomers here because these three have never participated. And then we got Ultimate, who has been in all my tournaments. But yeah, let's not dilly-dally. Let's get on with the match. Let's go on with the first match. And that sees Ratchet against Dino Smash. Right then, in the red corner, for Monsieur Ratchet, we got a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Well, we haven't seen it get off a death fire yet in this tournament. Will today be the day? Might be the day. Bing, bing, bing. Ratchet getting a decent, a pretty impressive win over Ghidorah. A win I didn't expect them to get. In the blue corner for Dino Smash, though, we got a Kakiradontosaurus. Dino Smash doing well. Getting past Blood Moon in the last 32 rounds to book their place here. Can they get past Ratchet and advance to the quarterfinals? <laughs> Whatever you just said. Oh, good start from Ratchet. Getting off the fire cannon. T Rex landing the first hit. <laughs> Decent start there by Ratchet. Going well in this tournament, I might add. Ooh, it's a tie. How crucial could that be? A blazing spin attack would have finished the Karkar off. Ooh, but Karkar responding with a fire cannon of its own. They're spitting fireballs at each other. <coughs> and it's Dino Smash taking the lead. And extending that lead. Here comes a firebomb. Is this enough to kill the T-Rex? If it is, then it'll be a point gain for Dino Smash. If not, then there is the risk of the death fire. Oh, no death fire apparently. <laughs> Ratchet's not allowed to get it off. Well, after a decent start from Ratchet, it is Dino Smash going into a 1-0 lead. And now things could get hairy for Ratchet because this Allosaurus, this Alpha Allosaurus, has the tight disadvantage against the Karkar. That could be key now. Dino Smash with an opportunity to extend his lead. And really put Ratchet to the sword. I would probably say, not based on the fact that you're 2-0 up, but if Dino Smash goes 2-0 up here, then I'd say he's going to win this match. Because the Spino will come in, even if it... Well, it'll probably kill the Karkar. But, it has to face the Pentaceratops. So yeah. Ratchet in a bit of a pickle here. Needs to kill this Karkar ideally with the aloe. Otherwise, I feel like Dino Smash is going to win this match comfortably. Okay, Ninja Attack. It's a crit. It's not going to do much damage, but it's a crit. This Karkarodontosaurus is also stacked up with Attack Burst. So it will definitely do more damage than it normally does. Okay, one hit from the from the Alpha Aloe will finish off the Karkar. 
Rodontosaurus. And there is that head. Ratchet coming back in this match. Smashing Kaki Rodontosaurus with a ninja attack. Again. Oh, and poisoned it as well, because why the hell not? Right, now for Dino Smash's second Dino, which as I said earlier, is Pentaceratops. Well, Ratchet avoided the, the worst case scenario of going 2-0 down, and the possibility of facing this thing with Spinosaurus. Of course, that is still a possibility, but now, at least the Alpha Allosaurus has a chance to land damage on it, so... If... If Dino, if Dino Smash does go in front, the Spino shouldn't have too much work to do. Well, at this rate, Dino Smash is not going in front. Instead, Ratchet may have just taken the lead. Yep, that's the lead for Ratchet and a bit of poison to boot. Dino Smash, after a strong start, not looking in the best of shapes at the minute. Ooh, getting off a crucial hit there. Boosh! Elemental power could come in handy. Although the poison is really chipping away at Pentaceratops. Well, I'd say definitely mission accomplished for Ratchet. Even if this Pentaceratops gives Dino Hug the lead, the Spino will, well, have no work to do in order to finish it off. And well, it's not going to be a 2-1 lead for Dino Smash. It's going to be a 2-1 lead for Ratchet. Right then, Dino Smash is third Dino, and that is the Uteraptor. Can this little, can this little fan favourite of ours get Dino Smash back in this match? Well, it doesn't have the protection of Dino Illusion like pretty much 99% of other wind dinosaurs. Yeah, Dino Illusion is just, is an S tier move, it really is. It's pretty much the best wind move in the game. Put it down, put it out there. Like, if it only lasted one round, then it's, I'd probably say it's kind of mediocre. It's the fact that it lasts forever until you get hit. Like, that is why Dino Illusion is so busted. And it's a move I contemplated banning for this tournament, but I thought, nah, it's not that overpowered. And again, with all the fire dinosaurs that will be entered in this tournament, the wind dinosaurs do need a little bit of protection. And the fact that I gave the fire dinosaurs death fire, I think Dino Illusion is reasonable. What isn't reasonable though for Dino Smash is this lead that Ratchet has now established. Is this ninja attack enough for the win? Oh, it's not. Oh, okay. Well, he's basically won because what's the chance of Dino Smash getting like five hits in a row? No chat. Oh, hang on. No, it's ACT Rocket. Not over yet, unless the rocket lands straight away. Oh, never mind. It lands straight away, and that is a win for Ratchet and a passage to the quarterfinals. Boing, boing. Well played there by Ratchet, avoided all the possible worst case scenarios to get through to the quarterfinals. But who is he going to meet in that quarterfinal matchup? Will it be Ultima Dino King or will it be Shin Dominus? Let's find out. Well, this could be an interesting matchup. In the red corner for Ultima Dino King, we have Karanosaurus. This Karanosaurus did pretty well against the Neovenator in the last 16 round, despite having a tight disadvantage. And this time, well, again, you can't. It has kind of a type advantage over this Tijongasaurus, but this Tijongasaurus does not have a Earth Crit, so. You know, it will still do an arse ton of damage should it get off that Crit, and the only Earth move it does have is Quake Saber, which only gets triggered during a tie, so. 
can't really say the Coronasaurus has the type advantage, but it could have the type advantage if that Quake Saber gets triggered, so... All Ultima needs to do here is just go scissors. <laughs> oh, oh, look, there's a random number generator agrees. See, it's a tie, which means you've got the Quake Saber triggered. And you stop Tijongasaurus going for the crit. Oh, three ties in a row. And it's Shin Dominus getting the first hit. And a tiebreaker as well, which will definitely help him out. Should we get this tie spammage? Ooh, but a crit from the Coronasaurus. Oh, look at the damage there. Nature's blessing as well. Ultimate takes the lead. Oh, that's a tie, but there's the tiebreaker. Another tiebreaker. And is this a 1-0 lead for Shin Dominus? I, I don't think it will be. I think the Coronasaurus is going to survive by a tiny sliver of health. Let's find out. Oh, we're going to find out. Oh, no, never mind. It died. <laughs> So much for type advantage there, and it's a 1-0 lead for Shin Dominus. But, for this ultimate second dino, it is Super Duper Tarkia. The thing with this matchup is that Shin Dominus' moves do a lot more damage than ultimates do. So Shin Dominus needs less hits to, and lands more damage. But, Earth Barrier will definitely help Ultimate in countering it. Well, there goes the there goes the Tijongasaurus. Down she goes, and we are level pecking. But now comes the big threat. Well, one of the two big threats, the Sorofaganax. And yeah, this is full tilt Sorofaganax here, so doesn't matter what I'm gonna go for if he gets it, but if they get if he gets it by this thing, it's gonna do a lot of damage. <laughs> Of course, you know, scissors will probably be the best, because you don't want to get it by a crit. Oh, no, I've done it again. Keep doing that lately. Well, there's the first hit from the Sorofaganax. Alright, lost once. Oh, a fi uh, how much do you bet this is going to be a firebomb? Oh, it's not! You always fear the worst when you go for paper against Sorofaganax. Another tie. Needs to get some sand traps. No, still no sand trap, even with a tech boost. But it is a crit from the Tarkia. Yeah. And now Earth Barrier would be very timely here. No! Oh, could that be costly? That could be costly. Very costly. 2-1 lead for Shin Dominus is coming. Oh, how costly could that be? No, even with two technique boosts, no earth barrier. Very costly. Oh, that, that's, that is costly. You know, if Shin Dominus wins this match, we will look back at that moment. The moment where it, where it went away for Open the Dino King. But... You know, let's not count our champ out yet. They've still got this up for Acrocanthosaurus in the locker. Bow, bow. <sighs> oh, oh, there's a head. It's not going to be enough to kill the Faganax, though. Nope. But, getting the attack boost going, which will definitely help. And yet, down goes Soro Faganax, and yet again, we are level pet. But can Ultimate break? Can Ultimate get the lead? He's maxed up with attack boost now, so... I would probably say two crits will kill Brontokins. But two... Well, actually, no, three crits, because of Dino Stuffer, which Ultimate does have left in reserve in case he needs it, which I think he will. Again, you look back at that earth, that earth barrier not activated. Could have been costly. Mm. 
บูสุดท้ายอู้ Acro g a i n the h e a d Ultimate taking the lead But can he hold on to it? Oh, he's not just holding on to it; he's extending it. And now is one hit away from winning. Oh, well, it's kind of underwhelming. Hang on, didn't this happen in the last match between against Crown Over? The Alpha Acro just came in and sweeped up. <laughs> Shit, Dominus bowing out of the tournament, and it's Ultima Dino King. Avoiding the banana skins that some of the other heavy hitters have suffered in this tournament and going through to the quarterfinal rounds. Oh, I must have entered another coin. But anyway, enough about that. That concludes the last 16 round, ladies and gentlemen. So we can have a look at the brackets, all the quarterfinal matchups, and end the session. Well, that is how our four quarterfinal matchups are lining up, ladies and gentlemen. We will see Diddy Darius going up against the host Stranger Gamer. Lauren Steele going up against MEJP10, a rematch from the group stage. LP Gozzi going up against Xeno Slick Goku. And then Ratchet going up against Ultima Dino King. Ooh, now this is really intriguing. And oh yeah, this will also be our top eight should I do a future tournament. Which will probably have at least eight groups. So this is our top eight competitor, ladies and gentlemen. So take a bow, everybody. Take a bow for those who finish in the top eight. Golf clap! Um, yeah, well, well I, I, don't, I don't know who's going to win at this point. Like, obviously, Ultimate will be the favourite out of this slot. But, you know, so many other heavy hitters have gone out. You'd have to say, Ultimate actually has a really good chance of winning again. But, you know, it's it's going to be, it's, it's still going to be tough. Some tough matches to come. And, well, whoever he, if he gets through to the semis, whoever he gets is going to be... A tough match, whether it's Emmy or against Lauren. In fact, I think he would get a fa a decent. Actually, no, he'd get a really favourable matchup against Emmy. And against Lauren, he would not have. Well, it would not be as friendly as a match with Emmy would be. So I think against these, uh, between between these two, I think Ultimate would rather play Emmy than Lauren. Um, as for moi, if I, if I somehow get past uh, Diddy Darius, um, I'd probably rather take on Zeno, to be honest, because he's got the uh, Karanosaurus and my Mega Raptor will rip it a new one. <laughs> and then I got the Wild Child, and the, well, and I got the MVP, which is Deinonychus. And yeah, if I face Gozzi, then my Mega Raptor's basically dead, because he's got two Fire Dinosaurs. <laughs> But yeah, it's just, well, I, I'm not even sure I'll get past Diddy Darius first. He's been my dark horse since the start of this tournament. And again, it wouldn't surprise me if he goes all the way. Like, out of this slot, I I could see Ultima winning again. I could probably see Lauren winning. I could see me winning. I could see... And and I could see Diddy Darius winning. And maybe, 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 maybe Gossie. Maybe Gossie. Maybe Gossie. But a very outside chance. <laughs> I mean, you, your odds are favourable. All you've got to do is win three more matches and you win the tournament. All right, that's enough jibber-jabbering about the, the, the quarter-final rounds. And yes, we have concluded the last 16 rounds. So we have our awesome eight left in the tournament. So I hope you enjoyed. And yes, the quarter-final rounds will be two matches per video. So we will have these two matches. And then we will have these two matches. And then we will see our semi-final lineup. Who will make it to the semi-finals and who will bow out of the quarters? Subscribe and ring the bell so you can find out. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer signing out.